Hey everyone, it's Wednesday the 30th of August and it's now 10.15 in the evening. Right, today's video. I've got a big bag of die cast to show you. Got a bit of a die cast haul. There we go. Picked it up from uh, the die cast guy as I call him today. Uh, there is some nice models in here so it, it did actually cost me 40 quid for this bag. Well, like I said, there are some nice old models in here. Um, and I'm thinking some of these I may end up putting on eBay. Just because they are um, some vintage Lesneys and whatnot. And, uh, I've had a little bit of a look through in the top here. So I've got a little idea of what's in here. But I'm still seeing surprises, actually. A lot of pleasant surprises as well. Um... I was hoping I didn't delete the other video I did, and I've got a funny feeling I have. Anyway, let's just get stuck in, shall we? Um, I'm just going to basically just dip into the bag and then show you them, and then just drop them in this tub. Um, most of them are Matchbox and Lesney, but I have seen a few Corgis and other things kicking around in here. Anyway, I'm actually really glad that I found this because apart from paintwork being a little scuffed up, it's in very good condition. Little, um, I can't remember if it's a Mac. Uh, it just says fire pump a truck on it. But Matchbox did two variations of this that I know of, there could be more, but they did one without the Denver sticker on the side, like this one, and they did one with. Now, like I said, I can't remember if I deleted the other video by accident, because I did have another diecast haul video, um, where I got some more, or some Matchbox off the diecast guy, and he actually, there was one of these in there with the Denver sticker on, with this back bit intact because it's very common to find these with the ladder which is here and the two um, hose lines which are here snapped off and these bits often get bent up as well because they don't actually click in or anything um, yeah I'm actually really happy that that one is complete and so is my Denver one the one with the Denver stickers on the other thing you find common on these is that blue beacon on the roof gets smashed inwards. So yeah, pretty pleased to have that one in there. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this one, probably not, because I have got a few of these already. I've got one with the super fast wheels on, this has got the regular wheels. Um, and I've got regular wheels in pretty much the same condition as this. So that might be one of the ones that lend up on eBay. What I'm going to do, do I keep that other tub I had? Oh, I've thrown it across the bloody floor there, right. So the ones that I'm probably going to end up selling, I'm going to just put on the floor down there. There's another fire vehicle. I've got the Land Rover Ford control unit with ladder. It's just a shame the windows have been smashed out on it, but I have another one of these missing the ladder, but it's got all the windows and everything intact. So the ladder's going to come off of this one. This one will probably then end up in my scrap box, and that ladder's going to go on my other one. So even though the other one would be um, rough like that one, it would be complete. Here's a little refuse truck. Now there is a rare version of this, and it is the silliest little detail. But uh, on the back part here, of the body, they did a version without a pinhole, and a version with a little pinhole. The rare one is the one without the hole. But unfortunately this is another one in my collection, with a hole. This might be my fourth, I think. Um, 
I'm not sure if I'm going to get rid of that one. I said I don't really need it, do I? Because I have got others. There is a couple of these in here, these little uh, dinky trailers. That one's got tyres on it, although they are knackered. Put it this way, if that was a real trailer, I wouldn't want to tow it down the road. <laughs> Not with those tyres. It could be worse when I find the other one, because that one ain't got tyres on it at all. Eee. I've got to double check that I haven't got that version of this refuse truck because even though they at uh, first glance they may look the same which was like with the red cab or they did so many different versions of this it's so one of the other things I like to do is change the print work on the body as well so I know I've got a red one of these in the collection but I can't remember what the print work is on there that doesn't look familiar to me at the minute so at least for now I'll put it in here and I'll compare it with the other one I've got one of these Leyland Sight Hut trucks. I've got several of these, so <laughs> quite an easy one to restore as well. Um, I've got a few of these. The others aren't in as good condition as this one. The problem with this one is the back wheels are snapped off. But I was actually thinking, as the other ones, body wise, aren't as nice as this one, I was going to try and swap the uh, bases over. So at least this one will then be a complete one. This has got Royal Mail Made in England written on it. Yeah, the actual um, axle support's been snapped off, look. So yeah, that's one for repairs. What have we got next? I'm pretty certain I didn't have this one. It's probably one of the newest ones in here, actually. Matchbox wise, well, uh, New, I nearly said London checker cab. Wrong country and wrong city. New York checker cab. <laughs> it's getting late. Um, I do like the fact I've got another one of these in here. So I have got the orange and grey one in my collection already, but it doesn't have the stickers on the side. I never knew it had any. But apparently it's got Douglas. <laughs> so now I've got two. I've got one with the um, transfers and one without. At least I know now, so if I want to restore one of them, I know what I've got to look for. Uh, I think that's a Fodden cement truck. I've already got a couple of these in the collection. And then this one's got the super fast wheels on it, but they did one with regular wheels as well. And they did a Rollomatics version as well. I think I've got all three versions, if I remember correctly. The Rollomatics version is it's got a roller under here, and that rotates the uh, drum. Yeah, that can go down there. I don't need that one. Um, so can this one and this one actually. I've got the black cab, and I've got a couple of these already. These Husky uh, Guy Warrior fuel trucks. It's actually quite a rare one because it has still got the cap in the back. These get lost quite easily. It's not often you find them with that still attached. It's quite a headlight missing but... Is it made by? Does it say? No, it was probably just a little generic made in China model then. It's not a bad one to be honest. Volkswagen camper. Split screen version as well. Someone's had a go at painting this because it's all over the wheels, including some red paint. And uh, I have got another one of these, which has got the Ever Ready stickers down the side. Which is what this is supposed to have, I think. Or, or I don't know, because I've got a few of these now, and the other one hasn't got the stickers either, but I don't know if... Um, they did a version without Ever Ready on, or... 
In fact, how they all came out the factory, I don't know. I'm just going to go in there for now, though. <clears throat> I've got some of these. I don't need that one. I've actually got a couple with the, um, the little skips on the back as well. One in blue and one in red. I just found another fire truck. Ooh. It's not the rare version of this truck. But it is rare because it's got all the plastic um, attachments still attached. Like the airport crash tender on the side is a separate plastic piece. There's other hoses on top. The rare version actually has a brass coloured hose, which I have got. But it hasn't got the plastic attachments. I need to get those. And I want to restore that one. Seriously? Yeah, another one of these. There's one in the last lot. I'm pretty certain, I've just remembered, I'm pretty certain I did actually put the um, last diecast haul video to the computer. Yeah, I don't think I've uploaded it yet though. I might have, or I really can't remember. Once upon a time, I didn't have one of these, and I've got three or four. Including one that I did a custom paint job on many years ago. Is that, is that Silver Ghost, I think? Silver Cloud. I knew it was a silver something. I don't know. Actually, I think this one might go in my scrap box. I've got this in red already with some sort of, I can't remember what the stickers say on it but I can't remember if the other one's got blue glass in it and a blue beacon like this one so I'll put it in here for now and it'll either go in the corgi box or it'll end up in scrap oh that's very nice that's not in bad shape for its age either it's another Rolls Royce I'm not sure what hang on just bear with me a second No, I can't read it. The base would need a polish up. Right, here we go. It's a silver cloud. No, it isn't. The headlights are different. They look similar, don't they? Oh, no, the rear windows are different. This has got rear quarter lights. That one hasn't. There is a few subtle differences. Ooh. Does that open? No. I thought the uh, trunk opened for a second there. That is in good condition considering its age. There's a generic matchbox trailer that came... Well, actually you could buy these separately. But they were meant to go with the uh, Mercedes truck. Which it might be in here. It might... I'm seeing double. You know, I spent ages trying to find the point of one in good condition, or reasonable condition and complete. Now I've got about four of them, because here's another two. There's one in the other box, and I already had one. But the one that's in my other box down there that was shown in the previous video is in probably slightly better condition than that one. Normally I get rid of doubles, but you know what, well, might as well make a fleet of them now. <laughs> I have to stick it in there. Oh, here's the other dinky trailer. See, that one's got no tyres on it. And it's got a slight curve to the trailer bed. Somehow, I'm not sure how that got that curve. Here's a Setra bus. It's the second version of this one. That I've got, super fast wheels. The other version has got a different colour base. This has got like that, I don't really know what colour you would call that. Gold? Brown? <laughs> Not brown. 
My other one's got a purple base on it anyway. I'm glad I got two versions of that one. Could be quite a long video. Another Leyland flatbed. I've got, I have got one of these with the um, plastic, black plastic bit that goes on the bed with the upright bits on, and I can't remember what that actually goes on this. Um, I really do like the Leyland lorries. Is that an AC, the um, AEC version? Ergonomic cab, that's all it says. Hold on that for now, because there is several trucks, or those Leyland trucks that I do want to restore, so at least I'd have parts. Corgi Firebird, Pontiac Firebird, which I believe came as part of a gift set, this one. Um, it's looking a wee bit on the rough side, so I'll probably just chuck that in with my scrap box. There's a few in here that'll end up in that. And we've got matchbox models of yesteryear, an early one. With what I think is W and R Jacob. Um, as I've said before, the models of yesteryear whether it be the old ones like this or the newer versions is not something I'd go out specifically to collect but if I do get them in a job lot like this I do keep them in the collection is this a matchbox? it is! I already feel I can't spit my words out I already feel that this was actually worth the 40 quid that I spent on this so I've found there's... I'm speechless apparently. <laughs> so many in here that I've now added to my collection I didn't have. Like this Matchbox Jaguar E-Type. I would restore that but I can't copy that metallic red paint so I'm personally going to leave that E-Type as it is. I think they did a green version of this as well. Or am I thinking of... I could be thinking of another car actually. Uh, Thames Trader compressor truck. I've got at least another one of these, and it could be on display over there by the stereo. I'm pretty certain this one's actually in better condition, and it doesn't look like the cab has been bent because it sometimes gets bent right in the middle there, so the cab leans back. Now, it doesn't look like it's happened to that one. I've got a few of these, various um, tractor units kicking around in here as well. So we've got a red version of the Bedford, I've got the blue version. They're all connected to the transport trailers. I don't know what the red one, was there a red transport? Or did the red one go to something else? I've got this red I've got two different red Thames traders here, they're two different shades. That one's a lighter shade to that one, but this one unfortunately has got a wheel missing. I can go in the scrapyard. <laughs> See, I would love to actually go through my scrap box and make a diorama on something of all those scrap cars. Okay, so we've now got, I can't remember, it's a Thornycroft, that's it. I've got all these cabs in here. Now I have got a trailer in here that these would fit on. However, it's not the right trailer for any of these. It's one of them Cooper and Jarrett ink ones, which have the big blue American tractor unit for it. Which I know for a fact I have got a spare one. If I could find another little towing dolly to go on this, I could have a big road train because I have got a complete one of these up on the shelf in the bedroom. Uh, I'm pretty certain I didn't have the chev one. Chev one? Chevron, not chev one. Seriously got um, a problem tonight, haven't I? I'm going to blame it on being tired. It's actually past my bedtime technically, but 
I've not got to be up for anything, so... Yeah, that one I'm going to keep, because I'm pretty certain my other one is not a chevron. Um, a corgi uh, skip truck. I'm pretty certain my other one's got a yellow base. This one's got, like, the beige, green base. Windows are broken, unfortunately, but... I will keep that one, just because it's got a different base on it. Really? Got another little one of these. Little uh, Morris Minor. I don't know exactly who I can send that to, actually. So I'm going to put that to the one side. I have got another one that I was going to send him. That one's actually better, so... How many of these have I got in here? <laughs> well... I was, um... Speaking about these earlier, weren't I? When I did one with the regular wheels. This isn't the same one from earlier, though. Well, the paintwork is actually pretty decent on this one. I want to keep that one. I've got a feeling that's better than my other super fast one. But here we go. Here's the regular wheel one. With the Rollomatic on it. That's the Rollomatic version. Does it work? It does actually work. <laughs> hey. I'm going to keep that one as well. Ah! This one I'm definitely going to keep in the collection. Look at that, there's another one. With all the um, tampo on it. WR Jacob & Co. Limited. So is it like Jacob's Cream Crackers or something like that? Yeah, Biscuit something on there. Ow. Yeah. Definitely keep that one. Now this is actually one of the things I saw in the photo that the diecast guy sent me, which is something I wanted. I knew it was Majorette. Pardon me, and I love me Majorette. <laughs> That's in pretty good condition as well. I think the truck is a Ford. That's all it says, Ford. <laughs> <clears throat> oh sweet, I've been looking for one of these as well. The Thames Trader, Trader? Thames Trader. Uh, Thames Trader. Tow truck. A A R A C matchbox carriages. <laughs> Been looking for one of these. I know it's a little bit play worn, but I love these old the old toys in play worn condition. It's great if I come across them in mint, but that's perfectly fine. Oh, I've got another one of these. This one I'm gonna probably put up for sale though when I'm done throwing it on the floor what are you doing up there? I've got a much better one on my shelf in the hallway so I'm glad someone put an elastic band around this but Good so I got that one, but now we'll look at that red roof I don't think I have. So I'm going to have to compare it with the other one. No, I haven't, because the other one I've got... It's got that on it. So I've got two of these. I don't know where the truck body went. I think it's in one of the boxes in the bedroom. But yeah, I have got two of those. Here's a majorette. Renault Service. Ah, so that is actually one I haven't or didn't have. I've got the van, but I think I've got the one with Telecom written on it. Um, I think it's Telecom. It's a different um, colour as well. More of a cream colour. That's more of like a mustardy yellow. Oh no, that's a definite keeper. Regular wheels, Mercedes ambulance with 
the rear door still intact and attached and the beacon is the beacon is damaged but it's there that's a definite keeper it's still better than my other ones um, the London black cab needs a bit of a resto work but someone's tried to paint this in the past you can see the black paint on the base there I've got a pillar missing well I think a pillar is missing from it yeah you can see where it snapped off but apart from that pillar that would probably be a relatively easy one to restore oh look another sight hut truck I really don't need these because I've got some in good condition, or two of them, in good condition with a reproduction sight hut on them, on my shelf in the bedroom. One with the regular wheels like this and one with super fast. That's why I bought a couple of the sight huts so I could um, have one of each because they were in pretty good condition so I thought, you know, why not? Right. What's that? A very plain Bedford CA van that was blue. I've seen traces of blue on that, so yeah, it's on the front. That was probably the Dunlop version. I don't know if they did any other versions though. But I'm going to keep that because I, I can restore that. I'll just sit it in the junkyard like that. This is. BMW 535, I think. Yeah. By Barago. Yeah, you were never going to sell that for three quid. A quid, maybe. Or at least that's all I would have wanted to pay for, because it's not in mint condition. It's not really collectible as far as I know. So, yeah, I wouldn't have paid a lot for it myself. I thought this had actually been painted that colour blue, but when I looked underneath, the rivet posts are the same colour, which means it was painted this blue from the factory. I've never, ever seen that shade of blue in the Ford Torino, at least not from Corgi anyway. And it's not in bad shape, apart from some rough paint work. See, because of that plastic base and the stupid plastic springs to simulate suspension, they often snap. Let's see a couple more tipper lorries in here. What have we got? Oh, we've got another Douglas one. So I'm building a fleet of those, apparently. And apparently I'm also starting a fleet of these ones because I've got three or four of these now as well. But I do like them. That's a Fodden as well. That one. Someone's had a very poor attempt at repainting that <laughs> and got paint all over the wheels. I'm guessing, you know, a child had a go at doing that, some kid somewhere. So I'll give them 10 out of 10 for effort. But again, the plastic interior is missing. They all are. I've only got one in my collection that has it. And I've got, I must have a good six or seven of these now. So it just shows you how rare finding one with the uh, interior is. Oh yeah, I've got to show you this one. Look at that. It's a Ford Bronco. I don't know who make it. But it's got Fred from Scooby-Doo on it. Oh, I think this is an airport fueling truck. Something like that. 
try and read it upside down. Oh, a 10 ton pressure refueler. Yeah, I'm pretty certain you'd have that's what they would have had on the airports years ago. I've actually got one in green as well, military green. I'm not sure if that's the original colour. If they did it in like military green or if someone did that to add it to a military collection. Wolseley 680 um, police car. This is my third one of these. Um, but this is actually in the better condition. The other couple I've got are all had um, like shitty paint jobs done to them. And they really do need like a strip down and you know a repaint, a restore. But that one I think is fine as it is. We're getting there, guys, slowly. Slowly and surely. Ooh, we've got a Husky Fire Chief. Jaguar. Or Jaguar. I have no idea why Americans pronounce it as Jaguar. There's no I in it. It's R. <laughs> Jaguar. Not Jaguar. There's, there's no R here. <clears throat> I'm just I'm just yanking your legs. You can call it what you like. <laughs> Don't take it seriously, please. Oh here's a military vehicle, speaking of the devil. It's a bit like a Bedford from the front. We're gonna have a look in a minute. <laughs> Doesn't say. Love these. I want to get some more versions of this, these Volvo trucks. Canopy not necessary, but it would be nice if I can get them with the canopies as well. I've only got a couple. Oh look, twins. <laughs> got another one. I can't see what's got written on it. It's got white doors though. Very something. So that's what's meant to be on that other one of these with the red roof. So I've got two of these. The other chassis I've got that the this box goes on is actually in mint condition, so I'll probably swap it and put this body on that one. Let's put that box in there. That's a Corgi Junior's caravan. With opening door. Another little old matchbox military vehicle. Oh, the little gun on the roof does rotate. Oh, that's going to go on the floor because I've got plenty of these Greyhound coaches. Not many have actually gone on the floor. I thought there was going to be more than that. Oh, we haven't got the horses with it. Oh, that's a super fast version. I know I've got a few versions of this, but I'm pretty certain I do not have one with this colour cab. Or in that nice condition, actually. That's pretty good. I couldn't find a better front bit though, that bit to replace. Uh, oh, I found a truck for that trailer. Had a feeling that might be in here. Ah! 
my first matchbox. This is in way better condition than the other one I've got. Because obviously these were designed for, you know, real small kids. Um, so most of these you find are pretty well play worn. <clears throat> Well, Corgi Mini Shop, based on a Mercedes van. I've got one of these in all blue, so I've got two different versions of it. It's like a mobile shop, I suppose. Nice Mercedes Benz, it looks like that's from Welly with those wheels, either Welly or Real Toy. Um, Real toy. Do you know, I think Real Toy would have sold better if they didn't put these stupid wheels on. I really do not like them and I don't think it suits the models. Because the casting itself is actually alright, quality wise. You know, we've got some good tampo on the front there with the headlights and rear number plate. It's decent weight to it, you know, and then they ruined it, in my opinion, by putting these ridiculous wheels on it. I mean, if I want to, I could drill a base and find my own wheels to put on it, but still, you know, I'd have been more inclined to buy these when they were in the shops if they didn't have those wheels. Really don't like them, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Little ERF truck, or Earth. Again, I've got one of these in the collection, but this one's actually in better condition. Yeah, I have to say, I'm pretty chuffed with my 40 quid spent on this. Is that a Corgi or a Matchbox? It's a Corgi. You must have had a tree fell on it because the roof is a bit wonky. You see that's leaning off to the right. Right, we have got three more. Oh, British European Airways. what my other one of these is meant to have on it. So years ago they didn't you know, have the tampo printing. They used like water transfers and the problem is with those they wore off over time like that. Uh, little Corgan Aston Martin DB6 a bit beat up at the front there. I'm certain I've got the yellow version of that as well. And the last one... Which I'm actually pretty certain could actually be 176 scale. Start right, Shoes Limited, Norwich. NR3 for our that is a local one. I'm on a few Norwich Facebook groups. I'm going to take a photo of this and see if I can dig up any information on it. Does it like have what it's made by on it? Pretty certain it is actually a 176 because it's got it down there, which means it is OO gauge scale. Start right shoes. What if they still exist? You know, I was born and bred here in Norfolk, like 16 miles away from Norwich. Frequent trips to Norwich over the years. 
I've never heard a start right. If I have, I've totally forgotten. But that, I'm actually glad I left that to last because that was a nice surprise. An actual local com company. I'm tempted to Google that postcode to see what road that is. It's got Chrome Road written on the door. But I don't know if that's just misspelling for Chrome. I'm going to look into that. I could just Google the company actually. Anyway, there we go. That was actually a nice little haul. I think, anyway. Um, certainly worth the money, in my opinion. We've got few down there that I can put in the um, bag for selling. I must have a good two or three hundred of these bloody things to sell. Most of them are actually over at Mum's with all the car boot stuff. Right. Anyway. Bloody hay fever. My nose is just itchy nearly all the time. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. <clears throat> if you didn't, then, you know, give me a thumbs down. And, uh, oh, um, video description down below, there will be links to my other two YouTube channels, the Discord server and my Twitch channel, so feel free to go and check those out, maybe join and subscribe, etc. If you'd like to, and, uh, yeah, I will uh, see you all in the next video. Bye.